Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the HTC Vivid Touchscreen Glass Digitizer and LCD Take Apart Guide. First thing you want to do is pop your battery door back cover up and take it off. Next remove your battery as well as SIM card and micro SD card from the phone. Using a Phillips screwdriver remove the following six screws as shown here. Two on the top, two will be in the middle, and then two are on the bottom. Just make sure to put these screws back in kind of the same order you took them out. Um, it'll definitely help out with your repair because while the screws are all roughly the same size, there are a couple size differences. So you will need to keep track of which screw is which. Please note under that fourth screw is that little bracket that I just took out. You will need to remove that bracket. And under that bracket is a little flex cable that you will need to pop up. Um, just put that little bracket to the side while you really don't need it um, back in the phone later on you definitely don't want to lose it because it's always nice to have and right there is how I popped up that flex cable uh, once that is done go ahead and take your pry tool you're gonna want to try and find a nice little wedge um, to separate the back housing cover from the entire assembly of the phone uh, it might take you a few tries uh, with your pry tool to find this nice wedge, but go ahead and separate the back housing cover from the main board and screen of the phone. And once that is off, you're going to want to use your Phillips screwdriver again and remove the following screws we show you here. These four screws right here actually hold the little black plastic piece in place. Uh, you're going to want to remove these four screws um, and remove this little black plastic piece. Next, you want to remove two more screws on the bottom of the phone as well as one screw on the very top. Once these screws are removed, you can go ahead and gently uh, pry out your motherboard. Please note there are little tiny clips which hold it in. Um, and you want to pry it out from the left-hand side because under the board on the right-hand side are a couple of flex cables still plugged in. Uh, so you want to just gently uh, pry it up from the left-hand side. And you're going to see me just gently uh, check these flex cables and disconnect them in a moment. Now if you need to, move that little antenna coaxial wire to the side. Um, if you're having a hard time disconnecting that flex cable like I did right here. Um, but once you remove that flex cable, that coaxial cable to the side, you can unscrew a, another Phillips screw. As you can see right here. Um, and please note the top connector, um, which we disconnected, was a jawbone connector. So it will need to flip down and then the cable can be pulled out. And once that top little flex cable has been pulled out, there are going to be two more flex cables on the bottom that you see right here. These aren't jawbone connectors. These you can just pop open. Um, I zoomed in for you guys, and you'll see how I just pop them open. Next, using a hot air heat gun, go ahead and heat up the top, bottom, and sides of your phone. This will loosen up the adhesive holding the touchscreen glass to the LCD. This may take a little bit long, um, and if you have a hard time actually prying off the glass, don't be afraid to just go ahead and heat it up again. I do recommend not leaving your hot air heat gun or blow dryer if you don't have a heat gun on the same spot for too long because you don't want to burn the actual LCD which is under the glass. Um, so yeah, just generously uh, use the hot air heat gun. This is a glass screen we never uh, actually removed before, and this is real time, so it kind of gives you an idea of how long we heat it up for. Um, I'd say that was maybe 35, 40 seconds or so. And once you feel like adequate heat has been applied, go ahead and use your pry tool um, to go ahead and separate the glass from the LCD of your phone. Obviously, if it's cracked, you might have a hard time um, separating it, just take your time, and like I said, if necessary, use more heat uh, to separate this glass from the actual frame of the phone.
as you can see here the original heat adhesive kind of just peels off um, we do recommend using brand new adhesive um, along the sides because the original adhesive is probably not going to stick as well obviously um, as it did on the first glass screen that you're removing This cable right here is the actual digitizer touchscreen cable. That's what makes your touchscreen work. And now to remove your digitizer, you're going to want to heat up the back of your LCD screen uh, with a hot air heat gun again. Go ahead and uh, generously apply some heat to the back of your LCD screen. You don't want to leave it on there for too long. Obviously, um, you don't want to burn your LCD if your LCD is fine. Please note, though, that we actually do sell the touchscreen glass digitizer and LCD assemblies. Um, so you can choose to replace both. We do recommend it um, if you're a do-it-yourselfer just to go ahead and buy the full assembly. Um, because that way, one, you won't have to put any new adhesive down. Um, you don't have to worry about not breaking your LCD. It'll just kind of, uh, it'll make your repair a lot easier to just go ahead and buy the full assembly rather than just the touchscreen glass. However, the touchscreen glass is an option um, if you want to save some money because it will be about 30, 40, 50 bucks less just depending. Um, anyhow, to remove the LCD, once the back is heated up enough um, and the adhesive is loosened, go ahead and take your pry tool. And you want to be extremely careful during this process. Don't just rip your LCD out. Even the slightest crack can cause your LCD to uh, rainbow distort or, dis distort or not work. Um, as you can see, I go down with a pry tool on one side just very slowly. If you need to, use some more heat. Um, use that heat gun or the blow dryer on the back of your LCD um, to separate this adhesive and um, just take your time like I said with this because you definitely don't want to cut yourself or um, break your LCD the edges on these mid frames are a little sharp so just be very careful with that this was actually the very first HTC Vivid we took apart and I did manage to cut my thumb um, going down the other side separating it because I didn't use the pry tool so <laughs> definitely want to use the pry tool throughout this process because if you don't you can end up like me and uh, cut your thumb obviously against that frame Once all the adhesive has been removed, you can go ahead and take off your LCD, your glass screen um, from the back house. And here you'll see my thumb, obviously, with a little bit of blood on it. Not a huge deal, but like I said, be careful. Um, go ahead and remove the adhesive, clean up your original LCD, um, apply new adhesive along the sides of your glass the same place they were as I showed you guys earlier where they were kinda of coming off so you wanna go um, put the little new adhesive down the the sides of your glass screen around the black edges obviously don't cover the little camera hole on the very top of your new glass screen if you're if you're just buying the glass and not the assembly but um, you just put it down the sides there's my cut thumb and that is your HTC Vivid touchscreen glass digitizer and LCD complete take apart guide. Uh, if you guys want to buy the parts from us, visit injuredgadgets.com. These little tabs I show you right here, they can come off um, and you can put them on your new screen. They will help transmit light through the bottom keys. Um, you don't have to change those out, but if you choose to, I do recommend doing so. All right. Thank you guys very much. Injuredgadgets.com. <laughs>